In this video, we will learn how we can create a dynamic table, something that might replicate a pivot table. So what we are looking at here is the ability to select the columns that you want to look at, um, the ability to select the number of columns, the ability to expand or collapse the table. So on this worksheet view, we can simply just select the columns that we want and the, the measurements that we want to look at. So this is something by default is already available on the Tableau worksheet. So we can do category, we can do maybe state, we can do maybe sheet mode. And then let's say we want to look at things like quantity, profit and sales. So we can simply just double click, drag and drop and so on. So we can see whatever that we want. We can easily build the table that we want over here. So why is it that we still need to create something separate? Um, so why we want to do that is that uh, we want this table to be on our dashboard. We want to create a clean view for our users. Over here on the worksheet, sure, they can have access to the worksheet and uh, they can drag and drop whatever that they want to do over here. But sometimes we won't want them to have access to the data or we don't want them to see this mess of calculations that we have done over here. So we want to give a clean look where we can put our table and our charts all in one dashboard. So that's why we want to create this ability on the dashboard view itself where they can select the um, columns they want to look at. And So first, let's create parameter whereby users can input their selection with this parameter we have created. So we're going to create a parameter called column 1 and let's have a list of value. Let's say maybe we have category, we have state, we have maybe let's give them region and let's have shape mode. Okay. So we want to maybe do this for three columns. Let's do an example of that. So we'll just rename all this. We need column three, we need column two. Next, we need to create a calculated field to take in this input from the parameters. So we have column 1. So case when um, column 1. So this is purple, so it's a parameter. When it is category, then category. When it is state, then state, when it is ship mode, then ship mode, when it is region, then region. Okay, so we want to replicate this for our two other columns as well. So we're going to have to edit a little. So this should come from column 2. And this should come from column 3. Okay, so let's show our parameter over here. And then, now we don't need all this, let's remove all this. We are going to use our calculated field to bring in the columns. So here we see that all the columns have the same option, which is category. So we can change this to state, we can change this to ship mode. Yep, and yeah, there we have these columns will change according to our parameter uh, input over here. So the next 
feature that we want to add onto this table is the ability to collapse and expand, which is something you can do on a pivot table. And you can also, um, in that sense, you can select or see, choose to see um, the number of columns that you want by expanding or collapsing the table. So how we're going to do that is to make use of the Tableau feature, which is a hierarchy. So we're going to take these three columns here and we're going to put them into a hierarchy. So after doing that, we will see that the table has the option to expand or collapse this column. So technically kind of we can choose whether we want to see two columns, we want to see three columns, and so on. Okay, this order isn't right. We should have one, two, and three. Let's rearrange this. Alright, done. So now let's put them into our dashboard and see how this will look like. Okay, so here's our dashboard. We have our chart here and our table. So maybe I don't want this table anymore. I want to use this new table I've created. And then let's arrange all this a little. Okay, let's adjust the table so that it's kind of aligned with this parameter option here so that it looks slightly better. Alright. So now we have our dynamic table, our pivot table looking like table. We can expand and collapse the column accordingly and we can choose um, whatever columns that we are interested to look at.